Davis had been seeing Michelle Perfinov for about four months before the incident. Mm. Officials note he's married and has a family with someone else. <laughs> but on August 19th, a what the? What is wrong with you? I don't need help. I need help. I need to get away from you. No. Yeah, because he going to off her. This? He going to take her out. Look, he got his dick all up on him. I can't relax. You just called the guns on me for existing. I didn't like your droop. Jesus, dude. She should be kicking him in the nuts and all kind of things, scratching him on his bow head. <laughs> Whoa, and now what's the month from the Kayton deal? Welcome back to Sheldon's Bootleg Ass Studio where you come to kick it, vibe out, and shoot this shit with Sheldon, man. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all for pulling up. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's go and get up into the video of today. Aye. Title reads, cop allegedly framed ex-girlfriend as crazy, falsely committed her. Why did they say committed? Wouldn't it be admitted? But it says falsely committed her to 72 hour hold at psych ward. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Anyway, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's go and get into the video right now. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. What, the, what is wrong with you? I don't need help. A Pennsylvania state trooper now faces a slew of charges after he allegedly committed his ex-girlfriend to a mental institution knowing she didn't need help. The woman spent four days against her will in the treatment center. These damn, sound like his ass the one that need to go to the damn psych ward here. You feel me? They say it's a record number of police officers with mental issues. You feel me? They have the highest divorce rate in the country. There's a whole lot of situations going on. They they they're abusive in their relationships. Yeah, these these police officers need to be evaluated. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Treating her like I didn't a suspect. Do now, 37-year-old Ronald Davis, a veteran of Pennsylvania him. State... Don't he look like some... That's a... A stew head. He look like somebody that's... Who ain't got it all. He got some screws missing. Like, he look like somebody that's weird. Look at him. ...faces multiple charges, including felony strangulation, unlawful restraint, and false imprisonment. 37 years of my life, this has never happened to me. Ever. Four months after meeting you, I get tackled. That's real disgrace. According to court... Only four months? Wow. Documents. Davis had been seeing Michelle Perfinov for about four months before the incident. Mm. Officials note he's married and has a family with someone else. <laughs> but on August 19th, a fight between Davis and Perfinov broke out in Dauphin County, Pennsylvania, about two hours northwest of Philadelphia. Perfinov would later tell police that, quote, during the course of their relationship, that Davis made statements threatening to paint her as crazy. This included, I know you're not crazy, I'll paint you as crazy, and I know the law. Mm. The argument continued. A lot of them think they are above the law as well. August 20th and 21st, when Davis first alleged Perfinov was mentally unstable. Court documents <laughs> show that while off duty, Davis reported Perfinov was suicidal. He submitted texts to the Dauphin County Crisis Intervention that he said were problematic, including, quote, my mental health doesn't matter. I'm a useless, old, stupid, uneducated piece of explicative. If this is where I'm supposed to die, then <laughs> so be it. And I think I'm going to drive off a cliff. Davis used these texts as part of an involuntary mental health commitment, meaning Perfinov would be committed to an institution against her will for her safety. Court documents note Davis used his work email to submit this information. When officials were dispatched to conduct a welfare check. He used his work email because there was supposed to be some solidification. Oh, this comes from a officer. Uh, this has a stamp on it. This is police. Yeah, so this is factual. You know what I'm saying? Perfinov, Davis allegedly said, quote, I'll take care of it myself. What, did you have? What, the, what is wrong with you? I don't need help. 
me to get away from you. No. Yeah, because he going to off her. This? He going to take her out. I don't care what anybody says. Can I please stand up? I'm Slim Shady, yes, I'm the Slim Shady, yes, I'm the Slim Shady, it's just the mud Shady, I'm the Slim Shady, please stand up. Okay. Stand up. Stand up. I'm not going to any jail, I didn't do anything wrong, I'm not going anywhere. He got all his weight on her. Absolutely not. Absolutely Who not. Who recording? This disturbing video was recorded after Davis was approved with the commitment form. He can be seen holding down Perfinov as she repeatedly asks what she did wrong. Court documents show the video was recorded by Carrie Teeter, who Davis had enlisted for help. Mm. What is wrong with you? Would you do this? <laughs> they need to charge his ass too. Would you? Okay. Please let me go. You just called the cops on me. You're a cop. You're a f What the f is wrong with you? I've lived all over the world and not one time has anyone ever come up, tackled me, attacked me, and called the cops on me for existing in the woods. So he must be separated from his wife to be bold enough to have his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend or whatever you want to call her committed into a psych ward because this is going to be information that gets out there, I'm sure. And then, you know, his wife would find out. And if they aren't separated, then they may be on the verge of divorce now. And I see why she is separated from your ass. If y'all are separated or on the verge of divorce, because your ass is cool, cool. Never, ever. Court documents state, quote, Davis grabbed Perfinov and forcefully carried her from the picnic area to her vehicle. Both Davis and Perfinov ended up on the ground. All because the consequences of your actions you don't like the truth. That's not, people like you shouldn't have any form of power. But if you want to sit on Yeah, he need to be fired. And Terminated. You on me for what? For what? Oh, because I'm around a sociopath who says he can do whatever want women are objects whatever he wants. I'd be happy to tell them that. What makes him think she needs help? Who is he the person to tell they need help? You're absolutely insane. You're insane. Like, and then you pay me to look insane. As I'm sitting on the ground with my head slammed into this and that. By a cop who called the cops on me. Mm. Do you realize how insane you are? Can you please get off of me? You you can't just walk up to someone and attack them and then call the cops on them and say you're gonna like uh -uh, that's not okay. Get off of me. You he getting off on her right now. <sighs> he really getting a thrill out of this, you know what I'm saying? His little pecker is probably sticking it for hard. You know what I'm saying? What's wrong with you? Like I, I don't understand what the in the true. video, Perfinov alleges Davis is restraining her because she disagreed with him. Mm. What the fuck are you doing? I don't need help. I just he, need to he, get away from you. He liked it when she That's slapped them thighs. Ooh. He was like, ooh, B. If, if this wasn't being recorded, I'd give it to you right here. Ain't nobody else around. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why you don't like when your truth, I just tell it back to you. Like, I don't know why you don't like that. But that's, this is unacceptable behavior. <sighs> totally unacceptable. What the f Like, come on, dude. <sighs> what is wrong with you? Who does that? And he's just trying to be all Everything calm and just chill. Yo. And if this is caring, you have a very delusional way of expressing it. Get me. I didn't Cut off her circulation. I didn't do anything wrong except disagree with you. Court docs also read in part, quote, Throughout viewing the footage, Perfinov appears to genuinely lack understanding on why she's being restrained. 
Throughout the video, Perfinov can be heard saying she didn't do anything wrong. What did I do? Please stop. Get me into like a tree like a human being. Please. Can you do that? Can I stand Just because he mad at him. You can watch me all you want. Just because they, she don't want to be with his head no more. That's not fair. And I didn't do anything wrong to get away from you. I don't understand. Look, he that. got his dick all up on and him. I can't relax. You just called the guns on me for existing. I didn't like your group. Jesus, dude. She should be kicking him in the nuts and all kind of things, scratching him on his bow head. But then if he, she do that, you know what I'm saying? He gonna really throw her to the ground. Come on. Like I'm a criminal. I didn't do it. I just wouldn't be able to stand. Keep back to find out where they are. Okay. I, I, I just wouldn't be able to stand. This isn't fair. I'll, I'll talk. I didn't this is do crazy. anything wrong. This is crazy, man. I didn't do anything This is after that, Davis can be heard toxic behavior. law enforcement to hurry up. Okay, tell them to step it up. She is fighting me and assaulting me. I don't me. know what I Tell them to hurry up. Tell me she assaulting him. You assaulting her. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, you did. You chose this knucklehead as a boyfriend. You started dating him. He didn't do anything wrong. That's what you did wrong, baby. He take me against my will. I didn't do anything wrong. As the video continues, Perfinov again says she didn't do anything wrong except leave Davis. Huh. No, that was the right thing. Shit, hell, you talking about? I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. I just left. Like, I don't understand. Perfinov later told law enforcement that Davis acted erratically during their relationship by shutting off the power to the camper where she lives and locking sheds to prevent her from getting her personal belongings. Yep, I believe don't so. Understand. Believe it. Please stop. Please stop so I can get the hair out of my face. That would be really nice. Please. What? Can I just get the hair out of my face? Can I stand here? Yes. Can I just stand and get my arms back? As the video right. continues, Perfinov can be heard saying she can't breathe. Like, why are you trying to restrain her arms and everything? You just, like, bro, if you got her detained and waiting on backup or whatever, then why why do all of that trying to restrain her arm? Or, or are you trying to actually kidnap her and put her in your vehicle to take her to the psych ward? Is that what's going on? Because you're doing too goddamn much, man. What the f***? What did I do? What Is his hands on her shorts? What did I do? On the hem of her shorts? Mm. He enjoying it. Happy call I don't even like her. I didn't Why did you all up on her? <laughs> For what? I don't get it. And he requested for this to be recorded so we can see your crime. <laughs> you self-incriminated your own damn self since you know the law, goofy ass. Why? I didn't do anything. What the f***? Why did I do anything? Look at him. He holding her by the waist. I didn't do anything wrong. You're around my stomach again. This guy here is a nutcase. Right. This fool gonna grab her by the waist and stomach and shit like it. Oh my god. 
For more than 10 minutes, Perfinol fights back, saying she is not in the wrong. So she trying, yeah, he trying to take her. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand what you tried to paint of me. I don't know what happened. I, I don't, I just, I, I, I don't know. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know what, like, well, what do you, what's going to happen here? Well, what did you do just attack me? What, what is that going on? What is happening? <laughs> Why? I don't, like, <laughs> Eventually, Pennsylvania state troopers arrive on the scene. So you waiting on the state troopers and you getting your feel on the whole time when you could have just left her alone. You didn't have to be all up on her. My God. I'm telling y'all, man, he getting off on it. He was enjoying it. Court documents show Perfinov was, quote, transported to Lehigh Valley Hospital in Schuylkill County based on involuntary mental health commitment. She Any police officer that was involved needs to be sued because they just went off of the word of this police officer just because he's a police officer. That shit is trash and that shit needs to be changed because they do that quite often. Just because they're sworn in don't mean that they're going to tell the damn truth. You feel me? That shit right there is weak as hell. Like, what the hell you gonna sit here and call? What? Like, why? I don't Mitten get it. And held until she was released on August 25th. When investigators looked through Perfinov's texts, they, quote, were not able to identify any suicidal or homicidal threats or ideations. Officials later determined she had injuries and bruising to her forehead, torso, back, buttocks, forearm, knee, and mm. lower leg. They say the injuries are consistent with Davis pinning her to the ground. One month after the incident, on what September happened? 21st, what Davis happened? appeared for a preliminary arraignment. After reviewing both the criminal complaint and video, a Dauphin County judge ruled he'd be held without bail. He's due back in court next month. Hold his ass without bail with his weird ass. You know what I'm Anyway, let me know how you feel about this in the comment section below. If you vibed all the way out to the end, I really do appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'll share the vibes. I need y'all to be cool like the other side of the pillow. Stay light on your toes like you suppose. Oh, yeah, no. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, God.